In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, amen. One thing I've always reiterated to the canceled priests is they need to accept the grace of the cancellation because it is your greatest strength. And your bishops have offended God and the Ten Commandments up here by canceling you unjustly. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. And that is coveting a, a priest out of the church. You know, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, pulling a priest out of his house, the church. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. As in Freemasonry and the false gods of these bishops, you know. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. The dollar sign or could be this graven image or their, um, you know, their secret handshakes with all these rich people. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Well, you're taking him in vain if you're pushing out the good priests. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. How can the bishops keep the Sabbath holy if they're kicking the priests out of the church? The good ones. Honor thy father and mother. Honor Jesus and Mary. And how are the bishops honoring Christ and his holy mother by doing this? That should not kill. Ooh, that's a good one. You kill someone when you kill their reputation or make it difficult for them to support themselves financially. And uh, even socially, because you create this outcast system where they're plagued with false, uh, false witnesses and, and things, it really makes it almost sometimes impossible for them to even live. You know, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. The bishops are definitely committing adultery. They're committing adultery against the church and the faith by kicking out the good priests.